the prosecutor need to put a lot of effort to prove beyond reasonable doubt that Jeffrey has the has the intention to destroy the property belonging to another. And in this if the if, and in this situation in this situation if it cannot be proved, that will be a problem. Also, if 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 we look at the section one of the criminal damages at 1971. It gave us a two powerful point. It said a person will be guilty if he has intention to destroy property belonging to another or he recklessly destroy property belonging to another. So those two potent words are very, very important to prove in the court. Intention and reckless. Intention, there's no intention. Reckless, I will defend it, there's no recklessness there. Because when we want to look at the at the recklessness, we have to look at the at, at two folds, 